Welcome one and all. Tucson TS240. Uh, got this one because I just really liked it. And I kept bidding on it on, on eBay and I kept getting my butt kicked. And then I thought, well, to hell with this. And I'm going to go to their AliExpress store and see if I can find this bad boy and see what the price is. Maybe I should just buy it straight out. And, of course, White Mountain Knives sells Tucson Knives as well, but I didn't find it on their site or else, yeah, I'd have been all over that. But So I went to AliExpress store. And I'll give you the link to that down there. That's the owner of Tucson. He told me that's where they sell them. And uh, I ordered it. I can't. I think it was seventy nine, and I think now they're down to. I think now they're down to like seventy one dollars, and you can get a six dollar discount coupon or something. One guy was telling me so, like sixty five all in. Of course, I was seventy nine uh, shipped. So, but I did get it. Um, and of course, the pandemic shipping was pretty slow, but finally got it in the mail. And yeah, I like it. it it's a good looking knife. Backspacer, titanium pocket clip, right hand only. But, uh, you know, that's really, I like the fact that they did these series of holes here and then it continues on. And then this radiating uh, milling that comes out in those lines that's nice as well on both sides. Taking the milling here. Mm, yeah, it feels contoured, you know, and different levels here than here. Uh, there's your lockup. Mm, man, that's 40%, isn't it? Hardened steel insert, over travel stop, all that kind of stuff. Uh, ceramic bearing ceramic detent all those good things and look at the way that lock bar kind of comes to play that's interesting isn't it hmm we'll take a better look at it when we take it apart but obviously with the holes and taking a lot of material off as as you kind of thin things out through here should reduce the weight it's not a real big knife but it's it's a good edc size and yeah 107 grams so let's put it back to ounces 3.78 well that's not bad that's not bad let me see where's my little there's my little pair of three well it's bigger than that what else have i got out here Got my Praxis, and my Praxis is bigger, so I'm thinking this is probably like 3.3 inch blade, but I'm just guessing. Well, it's not quite three and a half. Yeah, it might you might call it 3.3 something and 80, you know, 86. Uh, millimeters and then again if you measure down here you're at a three and a half so you know because that bolster slants you're not quite up to eight inches so you're shy of eight at uh, 20 centimeters so yes okay so it's smaller than a paramilitary two by over a quarter inch and the blades a little shorter as well let's see if the knife will be a knife Yeah, pretty sharp right out of the box. Flipper tabs jimped. Uh, it, it's pretty snappy. It's pretty smooth deployment. The detent's not overly strong, so that does make it easy to middle finger flick with that big cutaway there. Eh, 0.51 of an inch. 12.7 millimeters, blade stock, three and a half millimeters at 0.14, so pretty standard stuff there. Feels good in the hand, ergos are fine. Uh, pretty neutral along here anyhow. 
not really a go forward position. I guess you could do this if you wanted. There's a little bit of a sharpening choil there. Uh, where's my balance point on this knife? Let me get back here. Uh, about right there. So, it's good. Drops, centered, no blade play, no lock rock. Nice action. Backspacer's pretty plain. Like I said, pocket clip's intriguing. Lockup is really strong. And it's easy to disengage the lock bar. This is not a problem. It's pretty quick over that detent ball. But there, there, there's where it hits. Right here. So, right there you're over it. But let's see, where is that, where is that flipper tab? Yeah, you get up here, the flipper tab, by the time it hits you, right there it's not. But there it is. So, oop, come on. There we go. Got a lot of fidget factor to it. Fit and finish is really good on these knives. I mean, consistently, they're, they're really done nicely. Uh, was $79 too much to pay for this knife? Not my book. I mean, no. I think the two sun knives by and large are a big bargain. There's so many different designs. The owner has been smart. You know, he has. He's employed all these designers to collaborate. And so really, uh, it has way, way up the game. And then with his manufacturing ability, it has really equated to really nice knives coming out at very reasonable prices catch some of these bitters sleeping you can get some real bargains i thought it was just unusual and maybe a bit uh, frustrating that by and large they're sold on ebay on a bid basis as opposed to just in a store but uh maybe crazy like a fox type thing where that has put a lot of people uh, in the ability to put one of these knives in their hands and has built a gigantic following. Maybe someday going forward, this will not happen on eBay anymore. Not on a bid situation. Because there will be so many fans out there. Uh, this will be, and there are a couple of places in the U.S. that actually carry two sun knives as well as Amazon. And so check that out. Go to the Tucson Knives Facebook page. I go there almost every day just to kind of check and see what's posting. But there's a lot of uh, fans out there doing a lot of cool things with their knives, talking about them and selling them. So that might be another place to go look to buy and or sell if you want. See if we can take this little jewel apart. And there we go. And this is probably the surround that's built in here. Well, I'll mess with that later, I guess. Let's take this. This is the only other attachment point I can see coming through. And there was no entree there. Okay, now it's falling apart in my hand. Okay, there we go. There's the pocket clip coming off. That's really light. Wow, that's really light. Um, you know what? I, I thought this was a separate little piece. Okay, yeah, it is. Interesting. There's an extra separate little piece in here. Now you can see where this is squared off. Okay. Pretty cool. So that just more machining, more machining. That's, uh, that's something. 
internal blade stop, as you can see, runs along this track. Ceramic detent ball, hardened steel insert, a lot of cutaways here for this, this, and around here. Lightening the knife up, and that's why it's so light. And then you got backspacer, ceramic bearings, more weight relieving all through here, and uh, D-shaped pivot, which rolls right out there. Nice little one-piece job comes through here, back out. And, of course, you have this nice uh, steel washer with a nice groove in it to ride those bearings. And as you look at the blade here, you can see the little detent ramp that is built right there for it to come up and roll into position. That's really nice. That's what makes the action uh, even nicer on these knives. Just little details, little things that all add up to being really nice. So putting this thing right back together, not uh, very involved actually. I'm going to rotate this pivot while I can. Uh, to face this way. There we go. Because I know when it comes through here, there's that squared off area that needs to conform with that. And then we're going to put uh, bearings and our washer back on here. And then we'll slip that second side on. You can just stack it right like that if you want and then put this right on top. There we go. Got that baby locked down. Put this pivot screw back in. And we're good. Good enough for now. Let's put our pocket clip back on. And that screw in here. Okay, we're locked in place. Since there was a little place milled out there, that just locks it right into that area and it does not move. Um, let's see if we got, no, there's no play here. Did I get too brutal with it? I think I locked it down pretty good. Probably didn't need it quite that intense. Okay. That's better. And that's centered. No play. The TS240 by night morning. Uh, it can be addictive, can't it? Uh, a lot of fidget factor. Uh, 14C28 and Sandvik Steel. Uh, it, you know, we've tested it. It has been cut tested as well and performed pretty dang well. So as far as a good usable steel, it's great. Thank you so much for joining me. And you know what we do. We love them knives. You guys stay sharp.